Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general of reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Lovarina. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. Bottom of the deck. Passion. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun. Let's also pull some cards from this oracle deck. Ask and receive. Kind of an encouragement to set our intentions in a very clear way. Listen deeply. Lovely combination. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about these energies. All right, we are ready. With this card that wanted to come out uh, six of wands so your energies guys six of wands the magician ace of cups your person's energies strength card justice ten of cups meeting energies four of swords star major arcana five of cups Focus, High Priestess, Knight of Cups, bottom of the deck, a romantic gesture. We have the Ace of Cups, the Knight can be the better of the Ace, of course, some of you may have the opportunity to share with a special person, a token of love. This person may have overcome previous challenges along their journey making the best out of this strength card the justice can be even a scenario um, about a separation or a divorce basically uh, legal matters because we have the five of cups in the meeting of the energies queen of pentacles bottom of the knight of cups lovely energy the queen can be perceived as a source of advices, words of encouragement and support, even on a practical level. Well, considering the Six of Wands, the warrior that comes back from the battle vic victorious, um, it is fair to say that maybe also some of you have um, powered through the challenges of the journey uh, because of the influence that the Five of Cups is um, offering within this flow, uh, the Four of Swords can be about healing, it can be about an introspection, asking the good questions in order to find precious answers. Uh, the High Priestess in the Focus is about uh, getting in touch with our intuition, trying our best to figure out how to move closer and closer to a situation that can be a fulfilling one. Star energy, a wish granted. And as soon as there is a recognition, so basically we are open in favor of a brand new chance, we can take action. This person may hold back a little bit more um, because of the strength card compared with the magician, which is about taking action, guys. According to these energies, you can be the one that can uh, take the lead when it comes to the opportunity to share feelings and emotions because you realize that uh, there is trust within the connection so let's find out a little bit more about these energies let's see the six of wands the warrior coming back from the battle victorious 
success moving forward, eight of wands, an energy of communication, Cupid's arrows, arrows of love. We share words and feelings that can make the difference, that can go the distance in favor of a connection, uh, I mean. The magician can make the best out of all the tools that he has at his disposal. And there is a higher vision for me. He can see opportunities where other individuals cannot see anything. That's why I was saying that you can be the one ready to take action in favor of a connection with this person as soon as you realize that, for example, the virtues and the values that you believe in can be matched in a connection with this person because the Ace of Cups is an energy that starts from within, self-love. Trust, respect, fairness, reciprocal support and understanding. Factors that can truly make the difference within an interaction and a love connection that can be embraced. Let's see the Justice Major Arcana for your person. Two cards. The Fool, brand new chapter, Justice once again. Well, uh, it's kind of beautiful to be honest because the Justice for me is a fair and fair exchange in order to bring respect, balance and clarity even within an interaction so that those involved can uh, be satisfied with it. This person may have gone through a disappointment in their journey it can be a, a divorce, for example. It was a right and fair decision for them in order to bring once again balance in their life. If they were looking for a Ten of Cups scenario, they didn't find it in a previous situation. And they were brave enough to uh, swing the Ace of Swords within the Justice Major Arcana, Truth and Clarity. In order to do what? In order to embrace a brand new chapter of the journey, the full leap of faith, but full of hope. There is the sun, top corner of the full major arcana, inner happiness for me. The bravery of a person to realize where their happiness truly is. And if the goal is the Ten of Cups, fulfillment of the heart, um, this person was ready to do all they needed to do in order to manifest this outcome in their favor. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. This can be key words that can speak about this person. And this strength card, because it is an energy about trust for me, um, can describe the type of elements that this person is, lo is looking for within a love connection. Trust, support, effort, um, honesty, displaying the most truthful colors, being vulnerable even. Let's see in the meeting, the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. Granted the fact that the star is about transparency, honesty, hope, and the opportunity to fulfill um, a wish, yes, but also aspirations and desires. Let's see. Star energy once again. Four of Swords. Seeking clarity. Beautiful considering the focus on the High Priestess. Introspection that can even be um, related to a healing process in order to figure out, for example, uh, what can be the type of partnership for me? And this is a process that can even um, speak to some of you guys. It can be a mirror effect somehow, some way. Let's see the Five of Cups. Regrets, sadness, disappointments, something that didn't go according to expectations in the past. Moon energy, fear factor also. This can be um, indeed a fear factor when it comes to a situation that does not work. 
a connection ends and we may experience a fear kind of questioning the opportunity to find the person for us the figure in the five of cups is looking at what didn't work what didn't go according to expectations but there is a shift uh, in perspective that needs to take place towards the two cups that are still standing the moon asks for bravery in order to dive deeper into the understanding of something that can be a source of discomfort but it can offer in our favor um, secrets answers in order to be successful moving forward there is bravery within the strength card for this person there is also bravery within the warrior coming back from the battle victorious that's why a mirror effect that can pay off as soon as the cup of love between the two of you is properly shared ten of pentacles bottom of the smaller deck long term the opportunity to go the distance together to build a family from the ground up abundance manifest exactly what you want let's pull some more oracle cards guys for guidance considering these energies basically someone asks for something and they can receive it because someone else a fated person basically can listen deeply and the two persons can match unlikely wanted to come out something that um, didn't work but also if this person has left behind a previous commitment or a previous marriage for example they may have questioned that uh, a successful love partnership was not in the cards for them five of cups this unlikely uh, it can be um, a state of the mind I cannot find the person for me then there is a shift which can be intuitively guided getting in touch with the higher world just like the a priestess is able to do silence a meaningful healing process aimed at a star in order to figure out how to pursue once again our goals and then the star can be manifested properly because basically some of you show up reconsider can be the change in perspective the change of mind especially about this person but guys if the scenario speaks also to some of you let's consider it communicate clearly makes a ton of sense considering the eight of ones cupid's arrows arrows of love it can be a conversation uh, extremely open kind of saying look i have gone through challenges um, along my journey when it comes to love connections and you know what i do not want to find myself involved once again in situations that um, cannot go the distance that can demand a lot of effort but then uh, cannot offer a proper a proper fulfillment i am looking for the real deal and I will go for it as soon as I recognize the person that is willing to do the same thing when it comes to determination, dedication and effort. That's why this connection, uh, thanks to these energies, can be successful. Trust. As I usually say, if there is trust, love, among other things, can grow. guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye